this incredible mystery of God's forgiveness. Too often when we think about forgiveness, especially God's forgiveness, we think about it in our own terms, in, in terms of, well, yeah, God, uh, God must be sick of me coming back and saying the same things over and over and over again, as Pope Francis has said. God never tires of offering us forgiveness. It is we who tire of asking for it. I don't know, there's something within us where we say, well, our expectations are no longer being met, so therefore God must be tired of me. That He forgives, and He forgives, and He forgives, and He forgives. But He, again, won't force forgiveness on us. But if we come to Him repentant, there's nothing He won't forgive. And His forgiveness is so complete that he doesn't hold it against us ever again. If we receive that forgiveness. And so Jesus then tells us, so must you forgive those who've hurt you. I think about the things that I begged God to forgive me for. When I think about the wounds that I've caused his sacred heart and how freely he forgives, it almost seems impossible for me then to be able to forgive others in the same way that he forgives. And I would say it is impossible on our own. You know, we'll say, okay, I'm not going to hold it against you, or, you know, I'll, I'll forgive. But to forgive as God forgives really takes an act of His grace. Which means we need to get close to His heart so that He can move within us with that grace. I think it's so powerful in the first reading today as we hear about how Joshua is starting out his ministry now as head of the people of Israel. Now Moses has just died. Now they're finally, finally, after 40 years, ready to go into the promised land. And what's the first thing that happens? God says to Joshua, Go, have the Ark of the Covenant lead you um, with uh, the priests. And as soon as their feet touch the Jordan... The Jordan will back up and it'll, the water won't be there. What's this? The same sign as Moses parting the Red Sea. Because, of course, Moses didn't part the Red Sea. Almighty God parted the Red Sea. But to show the people of Israel, your God is still present to you and He's moving through this leader of Joshua. So that they would have confidence then to walk around Jericho seven days in a row and, and for the other things that they need to do in the promised land in order that they may follow the Lord, that they may get close to Him, that they see this miracle in order that they may trust the Lord that He's moving. And our Lord gives us this miracle of the Eucharist every day every day where he does more than creation turning bread and wine into his very body and blood soul and divinity bread becomes God and he gives us this miracle every day and not only that in his humility he allows us to eat him that we may become one with him so that we can then trust that He will do the impossible in us. And so when He demands, when He commands that we forgive, so will my Heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When He commands us to do the impossible, to forgive someone who has wounded us so deeply, He says, and I am here, doing the impossible in you. Get close to my heart, so that you can allow me to do this impossible act in you.